Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, is often assumed to be the hottest planet in our solar system. This assumption is only partially true, and it might be surprising to learn that Venus, the planet next to Mercury, is actually the hottest planet in our solar system. This article aims to explore this phenomenon and explain why the planet closest to the Sun isn't necessarily the hottest atmospheric composition. The primary reason why Mercury isn't the hottest planet in our solar system is due to the differences in atmospheric composition between Mercury and Venus. Mercury has a very thin atmosphere that is predominantly made up of helium and hydrogen gas. This atmosphere isn't sufficient to trap the sun's heat and prevent it from escaping out into space. This means that despite being closest to the sun, Mercury doesn't retain as much of the sun's heat as Venus does, in contrast, Venus has a thick atmosphere that is mainly composed of carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide atmosphere is capable of trapping in heat from the sun, which leads to the planet's incredibly high temperatures. In fact, the atmospheric pressure on Venus is so high that it creates a greenhouse effect that traps heat, and this causes Venus to be the hottest planet in our solar system. Distance from the Sun Another contributing factor to why Mercury isn't the hottest planet is due to the planet's distance from the Sun. One might assume that the planet closest to the Sun would naturally receive the most heat. But this isn't necessarily the case. The distance between a planet and the sun affects the amount of solar radiation that is absorbed, and it also influences the amount of heat that is retained by a planet's atmosphere. Hey guys, I came here in the middle of the video, asking you to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, because there is a lot of special content every day. Keep watching. Mercury is located at an average distance of 58 million kilometers from the sun, which means that it receives a lot of solar radiation. However, its thin atmosphere doesn't have the ability to retain heat, which causes the planet to experience extreme temperature fluctuations. On the other hand, Venus enjoys a relatively stable temperature despite being farther away from the Sun at around 108 million kilometers. This is due to the planet's thick atmosphere that adequately traps heat and retains it over time, in summary. There are several reasons why the planet closest to the Sun isn't the hottest planet in our solar system. Mercury's thin atmosphere and distance from the Sun limit its ability to retain heat. Meanwhile, Venus has a thick atmosphere made of carbon dioxide that efficiently traps heat and causes it to stay within the planet's atmosphere. While these factors might seem counterintuitive, they provide a fascinating insight into how a planet's atmospheric composition and distance from the Sun can impact its temperature and overall climate. Additionally, another reason why Venus is hotter than Mercury is due to its slow rotation. Venus' rotation is incredibly slow, and it takes approximately 243 Earth days for Venus to complete a single rotation on its axis. This slow rotation means that there is very little cooling that occurs on the planet's surface, causing Venus' average temperature to be hotter than Mercury's. Despite the extreme heat and harsh conditions, scientists have found evidence of possible microbial life inside Venus. A study published in 2020 discovered traces of a rare gas called phosphine in Venus' atmosphere. Since phosphine is typically associated with living organisms on Earth, this discovery has led to speculation that there might be microbial life thriving in the hostile environment of Venus.